Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna describe for you how you can save videos to disk. In a previous video, we described how you can send the streaming output from your webcam to the output display, but here we wanted to cover how you can actually write that to disk. So we're gonna start by specifying a source here. This could have been the webcam, uh, but here in this example, we're gonna specify a file from disk and read it in by creating a video capture object here. And so here we're specifying uh, as the input argument to this, the uh, source for the uh, video file. So this is our video capture object here. And uh, in this next section, we're just gonna simply check that that was successful. And then uh, scrolling down here a little bit, we're going to use the read method uh, from that uh, class to uh, retrieve the first frame of the video and then uh, use uh, uh, I am show to display that in the browser. So that's the first frame of the video. And uh, we can actually load the video here in the browser as well uh, with this command here. And we've already executed that. So I'll go ahead and play it just so you can see it. It's just a very short clip of a race car. Okay, so then down here, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the video writer uh, function in OpenCV. Uh, so this, um, this function allows you to uh, create a video file on disk and it takes as argument the file name and then this uh, 4cc argument and that stands for a four character code uh, that describes the codec that's used to compress the video frames. And then uh, there's also the frames per second and then the frame size. Now the frame size is important because um, that needs to be the dimensions of the frames that you have in memory that you want to write to disk. So we'll see an example of that below. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this next uh, code section here. The very first thing we're going to do is use the video capture object uh, to call this get method, which is going to retrieve for us the dimensions of the video frame that we have in memory. And then uh, now we're going to create uh, two video writer objects, uh, one for an AVI format and one for an MP4 format. So you can see here in both cases, we're specifying the file name and then the 4cc uh, codec. And to do that, we're going to use this uh, video writer underscore 4cc function here. And for an AVI file, you need to specify these specific arguments. And for an MP4 file, uh, you need to specify it just like this. So you can uh, take a look at the documentation and, and read up on this, but um, this is sort of the tricky thing associated with uh, writing video files, getting this codec right, and then also making sure that the frame dimensions uh, match the frame size that you're trying to uh, write to disk. So let's now take a look at how we actually do this. Uh, we're going to create a while loop here and um, we're going to use the read method from this video capture object to read every frame from the video file. And then we're simply gonna pass that frame back out to those video writer objects that we just created up above, one for the AVI format and one for the MP4 format. And then when that's done processing, we're simply gonna release the resources down here. So that's all there is to it, uh, but we did wanna point out that um, getting these codecs correct and making sure that the um, frame dimensions match the frame dimensions of the video frames that you have in memory are the two key things that you need to uh, watch out for. So that's all we wanted to cover in this video, and uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.